Hey, what's up? I'm Mark, and this is Lifestyle Savant. Are you having trouble reaching new clients in a meaningful way? The world is changing, getting very, very competitive. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can stand out. Let's get right into it. So if you hadn't heard, there's this thing called the internet. You're watching me on it right now. It's completely changed the way that the world works and how we communicate with one another. As marketers, as business owners, side hustlers, the most important thing is getting people's attention. Now, the internet's great in that it gives everyone the ability to play. Everyone can get in the game. The problem is that the internet gives everyone the ability to play and everyone get in the game. And what I mean is you have to compete against tens of thousands of images every day. So how do you get through all that noise so you can actually reach out and grab and pull in meaningful customers? Reaching people on the internet is a lot different than reaching people on the television or on a billboard or in direct mail. Because again, you have all this competition. Historically, one of the most effective ways of reaching people is talking about the features of your product or service, right? So let's say you're selling widgets. You can say the widget is this weight and it spins for this long and it costs this much and it's made of this material. In today's internet era, that message doesn't particularly resonate with customers. It's very easy to scan through, oh, a bunch of specs, a bunch of specifications, I don't need to read this, I'm gonna keep on moving. What you have to do is reach people on an emotional level. You have to trigger an emotion within that viewer that makes them say, huh, I want to know more. I want to click this link. This will make me feel different. So when you're addressing your current marketing and advertising and messaging, you want to ask yourself and put yourself in the shoes of your potential customer. How would this make me feel? What is the status that this product gives me? How will this let me achieve my goal? Okay. Uh, and this is really important because you're not going to be able to create a sustainable, long lasting relationships on the specifications of a product. But what you can do is you can trigger an emotion within your customer or client and that will give you years and years and years of, of uh, customer relationship. I'm going to give you an example of one company that does this really well. Uh, it's a company you may have heard of called Nike. So when you're seeing messaging about Nike products, let's say shoes, for example, it's not going to sit there and talk about it has an air bubble and it has these special shoelaces and the, um, the rubber sole is great for traction. No, what they're going to say is you can fly. Just do it. MJ, Michael, you know, that little icon of Michael Jordan doing a slam dunk is just, there's an emotion that people get from that. They don't think, oh, well, these are a very, very high quality shoe. They think, I'm going to be like Jordan, right? So Nike does this very well, and you can too, but you have to shift your focus from what are the specifications, what is the quantitative data to this is going to make you feel awesome. This is going to give you the ability to perform X. Once you shift your focus from specifications to emotional connection, you're going to see results immediately. Keep working, keep improving it, and get better every day. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, shoot me a comment. What can you do? What are the problems that you're having in getting your message out there? I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to respond back. In the meantime, have an awesome day. Peace.